In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get double edge pressure out of the nickel triple formation. Now, nickel triple is a very nice little blitzing uh, package. I think it's a pretty decent defense as a whole. Um, just I think it can actually do much, much better than people realize against the run, against the pass. Um, so we're going to jump right into this video. Now, if you've never met me before, my name is Cody, and uh, I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day on YouTube to help your offense and your defense improve. Um, I upload those videos at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. I would also encourage you to go ahead and join my text message membership, which is completely free. And it's actually very, very simple how it works. Basically, every single week what I do is I sit down for about 45 minutes to an hour and I give a full scheme, a full breakdown, what some people would think would be called an ebook, but basically they're their full scheme breakdowns right from start to finish out of different formations in Madden 21. So we've covered the Carolina gun bunch. We've covered the Arizona cluster. We've covered the Minnesota single back trio. We've covered the big nickel over G defense. Uh, we've covered a lot of different um, schemes in this game. They're very high level, very pro. A lot of the tournament schemes that you've actually seen people running in the MCS we've covered in our text message membership so um, if you're interested in picking that up literally it's super super easy to sign up for it all you have to do is shoot me a text message my number is 812-216-3644 that is my direct cell phone line so if you have any madden questions feel free to ask me those there um, uh, and again just shoot me a text and it's pretty straightforward every single week we we send out new videos I think we're going to be on week 10 this week um, and so this has just been a really great way for us to be able to connect trying to give you guys as much access as you possibly can to get your questions answered and to help you get better at this game all right so let's jump right in here and I want to break down this is simple so um, effectively what's going to happen is when people are facing the nickel triple they're going to start to block so like let's say you're facing trip set in right and what they're going to do is they're going to start to block their running back and they're going to try to pick up the the uh, pressure from this formation so um you can do this out of any play it doesn't matter what play it is we'll just use a cover three sky for right now and all we're going to do is we are going to globally blitz our linebackers first then we're going to pinch our defensive line you see it's going to bring our our guy right in the gap but we won't really want him there he's kind of stuck shoot uh, let's reset that now we'll pencil pinch the line we want this guy to be kind of our our user obviously um, and then we're going to show blitz now you see once we show blitz it's going to space these guys out and these are going to become much much more um, gapish type of looks and what's interesting about the nickel what i actually like about this is this creates that two four five double a gap look um, that you see a lot of people run uh, so you can do different things off of that you can actually run this exactly like two four five double a gap if you wanted to you could come down here all I'm doing is crashing my line out, and what you'll see is if I run down here and just touch this nose guard, I'm going to get double edge pressure. I can do that. That's one option of able to do this. Um, I don't want to give up my double my my safety over the top if I don't have to. Uh, I'd rather use the slot. So uh, we'll show you what this looks like uh, without that. So we're showing blitz, blitzing the linebackers, crashing out, and then we're just going to take this safety right here, and we're going to blitz him off the edge, as you see right there. That's it. I don't really like to contain. You can contain. I don't really particularly think it helps it, um, but you can. You can contain if you want to. The problem with the contain is you see here you have to really get him stacked properly. And um, anyway, the snap of the ball, when we snap this ball, you're going to see we're going to get double edge pressure off that right side. Actually, double edge pressure off of one edge of the formation. So now what's going to happen is let's say that they block. Let's say that they block their um, – they're back on the right, okay? What you're gonna see here is because we're getting two people free, right? And we're just coming right down here like this, you see that safety's gonna come free right off the edge. So they're blocking six people, we're blitzing six people, and we're still able to get pressure um, in a nickel triple look. So the same kind of thing is kind of true here um, if you wanted to make it true uh, from this right here. So like if I had this look, this little, little six man look, you can do this as well. This is another version of this setup. The reason that I like this version um, is because when you show blitz, this is a really intimidating look. And if you did you did something, you have you have four slots that are in coverage, right? Which I think is really really good. Um, you're able to you know actually really defend a lot of what people are going to do, especially if you use different things like auto flip. But what you'll see here is you're going to come right through the gap here, and as you see, you're going to get screaming fast double edge 
double-edged heat. So those are two different methods to get the same result. Um, but what I think is really good about the second method is it's actually going to um, really set you up well for uh, for different types of left set, left side pressure. So you could actually create a whole thing with this. Like you could bring Sullivan in here and effectively um, the key to the nickel triple in my personal opinion um, is the is the guy on the left side uh, I'm sorry the linebacker on the right side making sure that he's blitzing make sure both linebackers are always blitzing so like right here you're gonna send one two three four five six so I could take that middle linebacker drop him into the middle third now I have pretty good coverage I just got to take care of the left side here um, but you should see we should get some pretty decent heat off that left side or the a gap pressure um, in, in the in behind that so um, those are some interesting concepts with the nickel triple, but I just wanted to share that double edge pressure in case they are blocking a running back. So now you know how to send pressure five man, right? And now you also know how to send pressure uh, with a six with a six man. Uh, and what's cool about this formation, and this is one of the reasons that I think this could actually be a really good formation to run in competitive Madden, um, it has good pressure from both edges because of how many how many guys you can actually get in the gap. So you can get the slot corner in the gap. You got the safety as well. So this is kind of similar to big nickel over G. The only difference is the linebackers are now down in the gap. So it gives you an extra person uh, person to blitz. So if you're using using this guy right here, right, and then you can set up your coverages to, to actually you know bail you out if anything goes wrong. But um, what you'll see here is if I blitz the safety off the right edge, and then I take this these linebackers on the right, maybe I do something like this, right? Uh, go, with the, go with the man up on this side to prevent any deep streaks from happening, right, something like that. And then I have one, two, three, four people blitzing from the right. I have this linebacker, and I wanna take that linebacker, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put him into a, um, a deep middle zone. So something like this right here, you know, this is a very simple type of concept, but I think it's actually very effective this year. And again, you're gonna get right down here in the A gap, and you're gonna go left, um, but you see here, you're gonna get that nice right edge heat as well. So. There's two different ways to get the same result as what I'm trying to get at here. Um, but I absolutely love the way this defense works. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want um, more full scheme type stuff, if you want more high level Madden tips type stuff, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and join that text message membership. It's completely free for you to do it. Literally all you have to do is just pull out your cell phone, shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. We'll see you in our next video. And again, remember, we upload videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.